Mark, Mark. When I was younger, um, I always wondered how married people knew that their spouse was going to be the person that they would marry. Was it love at first sight, or was it something that just happens after enough time passes? No way. <laughs> While I can't say, as Dusu mentioned, it was love at very first sight, <laughs> I finally understand what my previous boss meant when he said that when you find your person, you'll know it. I knew that from our first date, that in addition to you being a crazy dog lady, um, you were so incredibly special and it would be a huge mistake to ever let you go. But I've been asked in the past about what makes you so special and why I love you so much. And my quick answer normally, without further explanation, is that when you meet her, you'll understand. As every person here with us today uh, can attest to, the warmth and care you project into the world, your empathy towards people and animals alike, and usually animals more than people, and proactive commitment to friends and family are honestly second to no one that I've ever met. And it's only some of the reasons people are so drawn towards you and love you so much. Honestly, you make all of us look good just by being associated with you. January 28th, 2018. Jason is such a great catch, and I feel so lucky to be dating him. <laughs> He's smart, handsome, has a good sense of humor, is lighthearted, confident yet humble, helps me organize my thoughts, has patience, loves Rocky, and is straightforward about his feelings towards me. I know it's creepy, but I've already been thinking of some punny hashtags for our future wedding. <laughs> actually, maybe it's not creepy, and it's actually romantic, that I'm feeling excited for this relationship and I'm thinking so far ahead. When Sophia started talking about dating Jason, one of the first things she told me was that their crush started at a hip hop club and that he was really good with Rocky. Check and check. So I quickly got from our talks that Jason was able to see Sophia for who she was. A fun loving go-getter and an unashamed dog lover. And the more I heard about him, it seems he was just what she deserved. Someone who could provide a warm and welcoming space for Sophia and Rocky, just the way Sophia does for so many others. Sophia has always been gentle and kind, giving people the benefit of the doubt and creating an atmosphere of harmony and peace. She's a constant source of love and understanding in my life. She has shown me unconditional love, and despite the ups and downs we have been through, she has always been there for me, always. It's a little bit cheesy, but like when I was writing this speech, the Maya Angelou quote came to mind for me where she said, people may forget what you said, people may forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Jason and Sophia have that gift of making others feel loved and welcomed. They share their warmth with those around them. Right, everyone here knows exactly what I'm talking about. We've all experienced it in one way or another. Um, I love that we did that intention setting earlier today. So I got to say, like being here right now in this moment, after so many years of friendship with Jace, Jason and seeing him marry his soulmate, it's incredible. It's an absolute gift. A few months ago, Jason and I were hanging out and I forget exactly what we were talking about, but he asked me, what about the people who don't have a Sophia in their life? How do they deal with all their shit? <laughs> I'm so thankful I won't ever have to find that out because I'm one of the lucky ones who has a Sophia in my life. <laughs> Jason, my entire life growing up, I always wanted a brother. I got lucky enough to get to know you and get a brother in my 20s, and you were one of the most special people in my life. I remember telling you that you brought a different sense of joy that Jason had never had, and a level of care and emotion that Jason thought he never needed, but he definitely needed. We haven't had many bonding moments since then, but in that moment, one thing stood out for me. You were worried for Jason, but you took the time to ask about me and my family. That night I left you, and for the first time in our relationship, I really understood how much you loved Jason. And for the first time in my life, I realized that Jason would finally have someone that would care about him more than he ever cared about himself. <laughs> As I look around tonight and see all of my favorite people from different periods of my lifetime, I feel so overwhelmed with nostalgia, excitement, and also sadness. 
so far it's taken my whole life, 32 years, to have a moment like this. And honestly, I don't know if I'll ever get to experience it again. <laughs> I hold many memories with all of you near and dear to my heart, and I'm so happy that you could all be here tonight. Navigating life would not have been as easy without the support you all provided. Join me in a toast to the happy bride and groom, and may the future be glittering and bright, and their love never ending. Babe, and everyone else listening, I hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse of the types of things I write in my journal. I vow to continue filling my journal with thoughts and memories that we share together. So now, with everything said and done, out of one earth, seven seas, seven continents, 195 countries and 7 billion plus people, I choose you and that I choose you every day for the rest of our lives. Love you. Love you.